Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Also, never mind this like little bit of my fringe that just won't um, stay there and we'll just leave no hair. So as you've seen by the title today, I'm going to be showing you how to do my natural makeup look. And this is the look that I've been wearing in like my few recent videos. It's just because I can't really be bothered in lockdown wasting like my pure full coverage foundation and all my other products. So I've just been like experimenting and trying to wear as little makeup as possible but still make myself look just a tiny bit better. Do you know what I mean? I do actually love myself without makeup on but... Sometimes I just feel like if I'm filming I maybe want to like not look so like dull I just wanted to kind of jazz it up a bit We'll just get on it now so The first thing we're going to do is put our hair back and apply Carmex Because I don't know about you but our lips need to be moisturised mm. Strawberry is the best flavour don't come for me because it's so true. Now that we've got the most important step out of the way, we're going to begin with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is just genuinely the best for my dry skin. Like, honestly, it helps so much. And no, I didn't moisturise my face because I would be lying to you if I said that's what I do every day. So I'm obviously not going to do that. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather just admit that I'm a bad person and I don't moisturise. You put on the neck. Using your hands to apply is a really good way to get right into the skin. Now you just take that excess product, wipe it, whatever you like. Step number two, we're going to be concealing some wee ugly bits of skin that we just want to remove from our life. Do you know what I mean? We don't have time for them. And I'm going in with the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. This is in the shade C5.7. I like to use my finger as well. The tiniest bit. And then we're just going to dab. That is literally all you're going to do. Until it looks like you've not even done anything and the redness kind of goes away. I wish I tried natural makeup looks when I went to school so I didn't have to go for like six every day and do a full face. That would have gave me so much more sleep back then. Also this leaves my skin looking so blemished when I do this look. I don't know how. Because you would think it would be like pure loads of imperfections because obviously I'm not applying foundation but it just works. I've got redness here because I actually whacked my eye, like under my eye, off the radiator yesterday before I exercised because I was trying to plug in my charger and I'm an idiot. So it's really sore. I feel like it was going to bruise, but I didn't, thank God. But Jimmy kept being like, oh my God, your eyes are red, even though he never even noticed until I told him. And I'm not putting it on like every red part of my face because I'm a wee tomato. So just like the kind of main areas, do you know what I mean? I want it to look as like skin-like as possible. This is my like dry patch. Oh, regrets. Oh, well, we're just gonna conceal the black eyes. And you just want to get right in under here. This is to make it look like I woke up at eight this morning instead of half 10. See like, look how lovely that looks like. And it's literally no foundation, like, how? It's actually magic. Now, very important part, we're going to be taking this Jessops brush in the number 222. Um, I got this set from Amazon, by the way. Genuinely amazing. Could not recommend more. Best eye brushes. They also do face as well. So we're going to be using Fenty Beauty. So we're just going to take a little bit and put it all over the areas that we put concealer. And obviously for my dry skin, setting powder isn't the best, but it's a must. So, has to be done, right? And that is it. My skin just needs to accept it because obviously my face is a bit more drier that I've used the powder. I'm going to be going in with this Mario Badescu spray. Oh, it's like roses. Um, so I'm just going to let that dry in before we move on to the next step. I'm going to be going in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer, you already know. Now, first time I did this, I was like, how is this going to work? Because obviously there's no foundation, so there's no like base for this to go on. And see, to be fair, every time you do it, it's a gamble because it just depends on the natural pigmentations of your face. So, we'll just see how it goes. I'm pretty proud of my cheekbones, I must say. Work hard for them. I like to follow that line. It's 
and this is just going to bring back the warmth to your face. While we're human again, forehead. It's weird, like it just like looks so nice. And I used to be like, it would definitely go patchy. Hence why I would just like, avoid using a bronzer, but makeup is just crazy, man. What I'm doing now is taking some setting powder. I'm just taking Stay Matte and I'm just like softening off the bronzer so that it blends naturally into my skin, you know? And when you're doing this, you don't have to be so perfect with it because obviously it's just a very natural beat, you know? You're glowing, but you're not trying too hard. And then for the nose, we don't go in with like a definer brush. We just slap it on you know i don't do this when i do natural makeup but i like to go around my neck my neck my chin sorry now we are going to of course to the eyebrows the main thing about this makeup is like eyes and eyebrows they're like the things you want people to notice you know so I'm just brushing my eyebrows up with the Benefit Brow Gel. You've seen me do this like a million times, but I just think it's the most fascinating thing in the whole wide world. Okay, so the brows are brushed and I'm just going to let them dry for a little second. And in the meantime, I'm going to do mascara by Girl Bang. You already know what's up. I'm really just not in the mood to wear lashes these days, especially when I'm sitting in the house, so this is like a godsend, this mascara, because it makes my lashes look so long and so thick. I don't like to do bottom eye mascara because it makes me look like a spider, like a legit spider, so I only do my top mascara. For brows, we're going to be using the Anastasia Brow Duo, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. It's so cute. And really easy to use, all you do is you take the front shade for the start of your eyebrows. I like to just follow the way the hairs go naturally. So I'll do this for about a quarter of the brows. And then I'm going to with a dark shade. And I like to start a little bit back here. And I don't like to put too much product. I like a really like fluffy natural looking brow so all i'm doing is kind of just adding the color back this maybe went away when i put the clear gel in and that is literally it that is all i do and then i'll take a little bit of concealer that we used at the start and then i'll just define underneath the brow So I like to take the brush and wipe the excess off because we don't need any more extra product. And then I just do this. And if you're wondering what that line is, it's a wee cut. So I was trying to tidy my brows up and I cut it with the wee razor. And then I'm just going to go do the same on the other brow, so BRB. So there we go, brows are done. Also, look at this new trick, I know. I've trained myself to do that. And as I said at the beginning, you don't have to sit and perfect things. And I think that's why I love it so much because it literally takes me like 10, 15 minutes and I love how I look really natural, but also glowy and that I put a bit of effort in. I don't know, I just think it's like a pure vibe. Like natural makeup is the way to be these days. Now we're going to be doing highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild one in Precious Petals. And I'm going to be using my slate all day setting spray in the shade cucumber or scent cucumber even mmm smells like summer can't be applying the highlighter to a dry face and then we're just popping it on just popping it above that bronzer So now I'm going to go in with the Brow Duo by Anastasia again and I'm just going to go over some of my freckles that I feel like have dimmed a little due to the other products I've used. Um, and I don't do this in any precise way possible. I don't even go over my freckles. I literally just draw. And that's why the highlighter is a little bit strong on my nose, is it? Mm, maybe we'll just say it is because I'm drawing some fake freckles. 
not really fake because they are there, but I'm just throwing a bit more, you know. I like bringing them a wee bit up here too, and I like to bring them a wee bit to the cheek as well, but like a wee farmer. And now I look a bit crazy, but what we're gonna do is take this Jessop's brush, and it's in the number one four two, some stay matte, and I'm just gonna go over Elf freckles so that they look more natural you know more like they're permanently on my face and this is just um a little hack i've been doing during lockdown and i'm absolutely obsessed like i know you can actually buy like fake freckle products but they always just look far too fake so i really like doing this because i prefer working with a powder you know you don't blend in if there's any wee bits that i feel like could use a bit more you know maybe i've blended them away too much it's usually just a wee bit on the cheeks i'll just add a few and as i said i'm not precise with it at all i literally just draw them anywhere and then just repeat the process this is my big daddy freckle would you see it so don't come to me because that one's real I also have a big daddy freckle under my eyebrow. Last up we have lips. So I'll either use like a lip balm, so I would either just like do Carmex or my Nivea Peach Shine. But today we're gonna to be doing a wee lip liner and gloss combo. Um, this is just if I'm like extra feeling myself, you know. I'm gonna take this liner, it's Rimmel Exaggerate and it's actually broke. It's not broke, I think it's just like ran out. I just need to take the wee thing out of the Now that I look like a clown, I'm just gonna pat that into my lips. It adds a nice subtle tint as well. Mm, I'm gonna go Jeffrey. Come here, babe. This is in the shade Control Freak. Here's a little close up for you guys. Of course, it's just my natural skin. I hope you've enjoyed watching me do this little natural makeup look. I know it's nothing that I've done before, so I hope you've learned some new tricks or maybe you'll start incorporating one of these wee tips into your makeup routine, who knows? But yeah, I do want to start doing more makeup videos on my channel. It's just finding the effort to edit them because they take so long and at Jamie's, I'm really limited on what products I can use because I've not brought my full kit. However, that'll be changing really soon, so stay tuned for that, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Peace out.